the Mac has a feature called the application switcher. And let me set you up. Currently, I have Photoshop running with this photo open. Let me hide Photoshop. And I'm gonna open up a few more applications. I'm gonna open up Pages and go into Mission Control to show you what just happened there. So what happened was that Pages opened and because the last time that I was running Pages was in full screen, it opened in full screen on its own window on the right hand side of my desktop one. So if I go back to Pages and I take three fingers on my trackpad and swipe from left to right, I go back to desktop one. This is where Photoshop is running, but Photoshop is hidden. So again, it's getting a little bit complex. Let me make things a little bit more complex by opening this photo in preview, just by double clicking. And just to complicate myself even further, I'm gonna open up mail and make a new email, even though I'm not gonna send anything right now. So let me set you up again by taking four fingers and swiping up on my trackpad to go back into mission control. Currently we are on desktop one, where we see preview, a finder window, and two mail windows. And to the right of it, we have pages in full screen view. Back on the same desktop one, we don't see it, but Photoshop is running, but it's hidden. Okay, that is a complex setup. Let me go back to the finder. Another way of seeing all of these things that are running is by going into the application switcher that I was mentioning at the beginning of the video. To engage the application switcher, hold on the command key and the tab keys on the keyboard. And this comes up. I'm still holding on the command key. While you're still holding on the command key, the application switcher is in front of you. And pressing on the tab key would allow you to go to any application. So if I let go while Pages is selected, then the Mac takes me to Pages. If I hold on the command key and then tab, let's try Photoshop. Remember, Photoshop is on desktop one and it's hidden. So let me let go of the command key. So now we're back on desktop one, but it's not hidden anymore. So the application switcher allows us to switch to any application that is running. And when you let go of the keyboard, it will take that application to the foreground. By default, when you hold the command key and press the tab key, every time that you press the tab key, it's gonna select the application to the right of the current one. For example, right now we are on pages. I'm still holding on the command key on the keyboard. Pressing on the tab key selects mail. Pressing on the tab key again selects the finder. Letting go on the command key brings the finder to the foreground. And if you do it super quickly, the application switcher doesn't come to the foreground, it just switches to the last application that you were on. So by just going command tab, it's gonna flip between the finder and pages. And we don't even see the application switcher. Now the application switcher is intelligent enough to remember the last two things that you were flipping in between. For example, right now we are in pages, but if I select Photoshop, the next time that I do a quick command tab, it's gonna take me back to pages. And if I do that quick command tab again, it's gonna take me super quickly to Photoshop. Another thing, let me go and engage the application switcher by holding on the command key, pressing on the tab key. I'm still holding on command. And as I was mentioning before, it always goes from left to right, every time that you press the tab key. But you can also use your mouse and go directly to any of the applications just by clicking and selecting it. Or if you are more used to the keyboard, if you'd rather use the keyboard instead of the mouse or the pointer, command tab. And instead of going to the right, you can go to the left if you press on the tilde key instead of the tab key. Now the tilde key is the one that is just above the tab key on my keyboard and to the left of number one. And in this case, it goes from right to left. And once you get to the application that you want to jump to, as always, just let go of the command key.